Well, you know, in, in regards to my work with ayahuasca, you know, I, I'd say it has, you know, it has not harmed my career by, by, by any stretch of the imagination. Uh, I'd have to say it's it, collaborating and uh, uh, working and publishing the results of our ayahuasca research in Brazil has been one of the most uh, rewarding and gratifying experiences I've had as a, uh, as a, as a, as a professional, as a psychiatrist. Uh, in, in regards to um, how my colleagues have reacted, I, I'd say overall the, the, the response has been very positive. I've given talks on ayahuasca as well as psilocybin to uh, co quite a number of uh, medical and psychiatric departments around the country, and the response is either um, uh, very positive, uh, individuals, uh, you know, you know, you know, acknowledging and even validating this is an important, albeit neglected, area of study, or delighted that someone is now doing the work, or the response is simply of uh, non-interest. I have not had, to any degree, the the hostile response that perhaps some of uh, our uh, predecessors had to go through in the late '60s and early '70s, when they were, in a sense. Um, became pariahs within their own field for engaging in this kind of uh, work. So what's the difference now? Well, you know, several decades have evolved. Uh, 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 the generation that was, uh, you know, avidly engaged in this area back in the 60s, uh, you know, has uh, exited the stage for the most part. And, I, I, you know, I, the the degree to which uh, psychedelics have become the uh, the focal point and the catalyst of a uh, of a tumultuous counterculture has faded to 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 large degree. They're no longer seen as threats to uh, to public health, um, and I think with the passing of the years and the opportunity for sober reflection, I think there's a growing appreciation that uh, there may be something to gain. From, from studying these, these compounds, that there's a lot we can learn, and there may very well be treatment models, particularly for patient populations for whom conventional treatments are ineffective, for whom the psychedelic model, when utilized optimally, may, may provide great benefit.